What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video, we'll be doing a $100 million buy-in. And they gave us 1,000 quarters to get started today. Super, super expensive game today. I haven't done this big of a buy-in in a very long time, so I wish me good luck. Hopefully we can turn a humongous profit today. So anyway, I'm going to be putting like probably uh, 500 quarters in there at one time using the skill stop button just to start out with. Then I'll just uh, play the other 500 quarters like normal. So yeah, I haven't used the skill stop technique at the beginning of the games in a very long time. So we'll see how this goes. That right there was probably about 400-ish uh, quarters at once. So one more handful and I will let go of the skill stop. So I'm just going to assume that right there was about 500 quarters. So let's see what it does. Oh yeah, big push, come on. Oh nice, we got some quarters back. Yeah, this is a very, very risky game today because we are going to need to make $100 million back on this game to uh, break even today. And that is not counting the money I lost uh, playing a couple games before this one. We'll go into detail about that later on. Oh my goodness. Nice, we got the quarter pyramid. Oh my goodness, wow, look at all that money we're winning. Wow, that right there is the payload right there, baby. Wow, that was incredible. Let's get that loose shoot and get out real quick. Oh my goodness. Wow, that has to be the biggest avalanche I've seen in a very long time. Oh my goodness. Alright, so yeah, we've definitely made a tremendous amount of money already. I didn't even have time to go over what all they had in there, really. I mean, I think they had like a ginormous tower of $10,000 chips on the pusher on the left-hand side. And on the right, there's this ginormous tower made out of $5,000 chips. And on the pusher, there was this great big old tower made out of $25,000 chips and gold on the right side of it. And uh, they had like a pyramid of quarters, a quarter tower right there in the center. Also a pyramid of chips on that left corner. So and they got like three of the ginormous um, dollar sign money mystery bags in there today. Yeah, that's super, super exciting. Usually those are loaded up super, super good. So, yeah, we're definitely going to make a fortune off of this game today. If we can play our quarter strike and get it all cleared out of there. Yeah, these games can be pretty deceiving at times. A lot of times it looks like you're going to win. But then, like, after you're done playing, you count up all the money you've won, you'll realize you're nowhere near close to breaking even. And I'll go ahead and just tell you this right now there's definitely not 100 million in chips in there today however there's three of the mystery bags like I've said and you all have seen them by now there could potentially be some white dice in there that we get a roll at the very end of the game and uh, whatever they land on I will get to multiply my winnings by that number so for example say we have won like 10 million in chips the white dice total up to 10 means we get a hundred million dollar win off of this game which that would be our buy-in money back so uh, yeah hopefully we can at least break even on this game we're almost out of quarters matter of fact uh, that right there was the last of them so uh, let's go round up the quarters see how much money we have won so far and we'll get right back to work Jackpot baby, check this out. We got the $1 chip, the $50 chip, and the $5 chip. So this $1 chip right here, uh, we'll get to turn that in later on. They'll give me an extra 500 free quarters. And this $50 chip, you can also call that the uh, gutter chip. Uh, we'll get to turn that in at the very end of the game. They will take every single thing, every single prize that has fallen down those uh, side slots. They'll put it back into the playing field for us to have another chance of winning it. So that's pretty nice. And this uh, $5 chip right here, we'll get to turn that in. And uh, they'll take everything that is on the blue shelves, like all the towers, the gold, the mystery bags. And uh, they'll put it all into the play field. They can put it all back there on the pressure. 
They're on the lower shelf. I don't get to pick which spot they move the towers to. But uh, all I know is they'll put it somewhere in the play field after turning in that $5 chip. So anyhow, uh, let's get right back to pushing. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you all, we have made millions up on millions of dollars in chips today. So I'd say with about three or four of the white dots at this point, we could win like three or four of the white dots. That would easily be our $100 million buy-in back. And there's a mystery back on the edge. Over here on this right hand side, this is a super, super intense game today. Because uh, it seems like we're just a couple pushes away from winning millions of dollars. It's very, very exciting. And I know I don't sound super enthusiastic playing these games most of the time. But I mean, I have an explanation for that. I'm usually very, very like nervous about playing these large buy-in games. I mean, I try to hide it the best I can, but that's why it's so difficult to sound uh, super, super enthusiastic while playing these. Because I always remember the games where I've lost hundreds of millions of dollars. And then I just think that, say, this game would be the exact same uh, thing. I'd lose millions of dollars. But uh, anyhow, we're going to stay positive. We're going to win it all out of there today. And uh, we're going to make a fortune for sure. Oh, nice, some of the $5,000 chips fell over there on the right. So, yeah, uh, that $5 chip, I think I'll turn that in after this round right here if we don't get that Mr. Bag. Uh, they'll just put all those other towers into the play field, along with the other two Mr. Bags. So, yeah, hopefully they uh, put all that stuff in good spots. And all those uh, $5,000 chips on this right side that were remaining from that tower... I'm guessing they'll just stack that into a brand new tower in there somewhere, so. Yeah, we're definitely doing pretty good so far. Oh my goodness, that Mr. Bag. I think we're going to get it in that stack of $5,000 chips on the right. There's still quite a bit of that uh, poker chip pyramid standing over here on the left. A whole bunch of $10,000 chips and $5,000 chips. Yeah, there's still a lot of money left in there to win. I'd, I'd say we're probably about uh, 20 or 25 percent of the way through the game right now. Because we got to turn in that $5 chip when all those towers. Then we'll turn in that $50 chip at the very end of this game. So, oh, nice. We made like five or $10,000 right there. Well, the good news, we're making some progress, but the bad news. Uh, Mr. Bag is still stuck on there. And I think it might be stuck, like, on that stack of chips right there. And the only way we're going to get that to go is if we, uh... Nice, there we go. The one in front of it, the stack in front of it fell down, so... That other stack that's keeping that Mr. Bag up there might start moving. But, uh... I'd say we should go ahead and call it quits right there. This right here is going to be the last push. Come on, big money. Yeah, we're definitely going to get that mystery back on the next round. I can guarantee you that. So, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and turn in that $5 chip and that $1 chip. They'll give me 500 extra quarters. And they'll take all that stuff that's on the blue shelves. They'll put it all into the playing field. So, we'll be right back. Alrighty, a and coin brush. Your house return. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip and that $1 chip. They gave me 500 free quarters. And they took everything that was on the blue shelves. They put it all into the playing field. And they put some of it back there on the pusher. Let's see. They just took all the gold that was in there. Put it on the pusher. Built it into a brand new tower. And uh, they put the mystery bags back there also. Which were... We already got them to go down to the lower shelf. So hopefully we can get those out of there pretty easily. I mean, I was a little bit disappointed that they did not count the one that was stuck on the right-hand side as a win. Because sometimes they will uh, count stuff as a win since it's stuck against the glass. But, I mean, they're going to do anything to try to get us to lose money. That is their main objective for uh, these games right here is for the player to lose a lot of money. And they're going to try to uh, do everything they can to try to get you to lose, especially on a game this expensive. Nice, there we go. We got all those $5,000 chips. 
Nice, there we go, and the mystery bags are all piled up against the glass. Nice, well we got like one of them I guess, but it got stuck. Well, I guess you can say we got all three of them, but they all got stuck against the glass. Oh yeah, this great big old tower right here, it's about to go any moment now. Come on, nice push. Oh my goodness, it's all piled up against the glass. We're about to get a whole bunch of gold. Nice, there we go, we got it. Wow, that was a huge push. Nice, this is doing absolutely incredible. So uh, hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying this video today. If you want to see more videos like this one, I highly recommend you uh, hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell icon, that way you get notified for whenever I upload brand new videos. I post videos seven days a week, so you're not going to want to miss out on these amazing videos right here. I do lots of uh, one to five million dollar buy-ins and every now and then we'll do a large buy-in like this one right here. Fifty million, hundred million dollar buy-in. And maybe once every six months or so like a half a billion dollar buy-in. I have to save up for a while to do a buy-in that expensive. So anyway, it looks like all that gold got stuck like down there in the loot chute. So uh, I'm going to get that cleared out in just a second. Well, we might as well. Let's go ahead and get it cleared out. Oh my goodness. You talk about a waterfall of gold and a waterfall of quarters and chips. My goodness. It was so much money and gold just raining out of there. Whenever I got that loot shoot for it out. So anyhow, let's keep on pushing. Uh, I'll probably try the rest of the quarters on this round right here. Try to get these two enormous towers. And uh, if we don't get them, I will probably go ahead and turn in that $50 chip. And uh, they will take everything that has fallen down in them gutters today. And uh, they will put it all back into the playing field. So that should be a pretty fun game to play. Really, really hoping a lot of people have been playing this before I got here. And hopefully they lost a bunch of stuff to the gutters. So yeah, I mean, they take the stuff that I lost to them side slots, they put it back into the play field, along with the stuff that other people have lost uh, playing these games before I got here. So, like I said, hopefully it's loaded up super, super well today. I mean, it's a 50-50 chance, because a lot of times they will empty out the loot box after somebody's playing. So, I mean, I don't know. But we'll see. I mean, either way, we're going to make a huge profit off of this game. We got those uh, three ginormous dollar sign mystery bags to open. And uh, question, which one, or which mystery bags do you all like better? Like the regular, uh, blue, red, green, all those mystery bags? Or do you like the ginormous dollar sign mystery bags? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Me personally, I'm going to have to go with the dollar sign mystery bags. Because it seems like those are always like jam-packed full with like dots and tips whole bunch of other good stuff like that. Well, anyhow, I just put a whole entire boatload of quarters in there at once. So let's go ahead and stack this thing up again. They're getting stuck back there, but that's all right. They'll break free eventually. They always do. So uh, let's see. I'm really, really thinking we can get that tower over there on the right side if we just stay consistent and keep on pushing for a little while. Got probably 1,500 more quarters sitting on top of the machine. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get this great big old tower on the rod at least. Well, anyhow, while this is pushing, I'm going to open up the mystery bag in the top left corner. So this is probably the lightest one out of the three that we won. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got two more of the $1 chips, and there was a pink mystery bag inside of that mystery bag. Holy mackerel, I don't think I've seen that in a very long time, so anyway, that right there is another 1,000 free quarters. That is remarkable. All right, so we might as well go ahead and check this one out as well. See what we got. Nice, we got two of the white dice. Wow, that right there is where the big money starts to roll in for sure. So anyhow, let's keep on stacking up this right-hand side, try to get this ginormous tower made out of $5,000 chips. Oh, and check that out. There's a uh, $100 chip on top of that tower. So that is not cash value. That is just uh, one entry. 
into the free $100,000 buying giveaway. So that's, uh, those are not the best thing to win. I mean, they're all right, but you're not really guaranteed to win that giveaway. Matter of fact, it's very rare that you do win that giveaway. But still, I mean, it's something. Oh yeah, we're about to get that tower of $5,000 chips though. It's severely close to the edge. Hanging over the edge tremendously now. Come on, big push. Yeah, I'd say that tower's probably about like one or two pushes away from going. Oh my gosh, it just moved again. How much closer is that tower going to get before it just goes? This is a very, very intense game right here. I'd say we're pretty close to winning $100 million. Yeah, and hopefully there is some more uh, white box in those other two mystery bags. We'll check those out here shortly. I just dropped a whole bunch of quarters on the floor. I'll pick those up here in a minute. Anyhow, let's just uh, keep on loading up this right hand side. We got a bunch of quarters stacked up on the play field now, especially over there on the right, which is exactly where we want them. And the tower on the left, I think I'm just going to just stick to pushing on the right hand side for now because this one has a lot of progress to make. We'll probably get that on the next round whenever we turn in that $50 chip. But I'd at least like to get this tower on the right before we uh, turn in that uh, $50 chip, so. All right, so that was the rest of those quarters out there that we had in that basket, so. Oh, nice, there we go. Let's go ahead and check out another mystery bag. I'll open it up like right here in the center. That way you can see the tower. Nice, there we go. Holy moly, we got that tower. I was really not expecting that. That is incredible. All right, let's check out this mystery bag right here. Well, this one had uh, $50,000 in uh, $10,000 chips in there. I mean, that's not too awful bad, but uh, there's no dice, unfortunately. So, might as well go ahead and open up this mystery bag right here. Hopefully, this one's loaded up pretty good also. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's definitely something heavy in there. Oh, nice. We got two of the earbuds. And we got two more one dollar chips so so far we've only won two of the white dice so that is pretty alarming right there yeah this might be pretty difficult to make that hundred million dollars back so anyway uh, that's another uh, thousand quarters right there and uh, each one of these earbuds are worth a hundred dollars each i know at a lot of locations uh the earbuds would be like free towers but not at this location here these are just one hundred dollars each so anyway, uh, I guess the mystery bags could have been loaded up a lot better. But uh, anyway, hopefully that uh, $50 chip round goes a lot better than that. Hopefully we can get some dice on that game. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and uh, turn in that $50 chip. And we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, ANV coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip and all four of them $1 chips. They gave me 2,000 more quarters. And uh, they took everything that had fallen down in them gutters today and they put it all back into the playing field. It looks like there's two Mr. Bags on the blue shelves and there's one ginormous a dollar sign Mr. Bag right there in the center. So you all are not going to believe this. It turns out that that uh, ginormous Mr. Bag right there was actually supposed to be in the first round of this uh, game right here. So... Turns out that that employee that was setting up the game forgot to put that fourth uh, dollar sign money mystery bag in there. There was three of them in the original setup. That the, they were supposed to put four of them in there. So I would assume that that's where all the dice were at. Because I thought that that was pretty uh, strange that there was only two of the white dice in there on a hundred million dollar buy-in game. Because uh, I don't know if that would have been allowed. For them to only put two dice in there. I mean, you have to be at least guaranteed to make your money back if you win it all out of there. That's like the only rule. But I doubt we'd ever win $100 million back with just two of the white dice. That's just outrageous. So, anyhow, uh, I talked to that employee for a little bit. And uh, he said he made a mistake. So he went ahead and put that Mr. Bag in here on this round right here. So, anyhow... 
Uh, let's just move on. I think we done got that red earbud, so we'll get to turn in that red earbud. And uh, they'll take that gold tower and them two mystery bags that are on the blue shelves. And they will put them into the playing field. And it looks like they built like two ginormous uh, $25,000 chip towers with a whole bunch of gold on top of them. There's also a humongous tower on the pusher back there made out of five and $10,000 chips with a great big old humongous basket of quarters sitting on top of it. So all those quarters, I'm 100% sure, were the quarters that had fallen down in the gutters today. Because, yeah, they take everything that's down in there and they find a way to put it back into the play field. That could be building a brand new tower, putting the quarters in the basket. I mean, that's yeah, interesting sometimes what they do with all the chips and stuff. So, anyhow, it looks like a pretty decent setup. Really, really think we can uh, make out like a bandit today. And we'll open up that John Ormus mister back here shortly. Really, really hoping all those dots are in there. I just find that kind of odd that there was two white dots in there. So, thank goodness that employee made things right and put that mystery bag back in there that was supposed to be in there to begin with. Oh no, I just threw a $5,000 chip back in there. You see it, it's like on the leftist centerish area, like right there in the center almost. Well that tower might be blocking the view. But anyhow, if I called them back here, they would give me a refund. They'd just take that out of there, hand it back to me. But I mean, I guess we should just keep on pushing it forward to try to uh, get it to fall back down into the payout chute. Because it would take them probably about like 15, 20 minutes to get over here. I don't want to spend that long trying to call them back here when we could just win it back ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, we got the humongous $25,000 chip tower to go so far. That's pretty nice. Alright, so I'm thinking we should rapid fire a whole entire basket of quarters in there. Are you ready? there it is hopefully we can get that humongous tower on the pusher to go here soon oh my goodness well we definitely got the quarters stacked up super super high back there and uh, whenever that great big old basket falls down it's definitely going to uh, pile up the center right here and then again that might help the towers on the corners to get moving yeah that would be absolutely incredible if we could do that it's super super close to going I'd say it's maybe like Anywhere from 5 to 10 pushes away from going. Oh my goodness. Well, the pusher got stuck somehow. I have no idea what happened. Huh. Well, I've never seen that happen before. That's insane. Oh my goodness, Nice. There it goes. We got all those quarters that was in that basket. Oh my gosh. Wow, jackpot, baby. Oh yeah, that was the payday right there for sure. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was absolutely insane. So I think what happened a second ago when the pressure just stopped moving for a second, I think we had too many quarters piled up back there. So let's just try to push like normal for a little bit. Try to uh, clear out some of those quarters. Hoping we can uh, get these towers on the corners to get moving now that there's a lot of like weight right there in the center. That'd be super, super nice. Oh my goodness, that loot sheet is super full. Let's get it cleared out. Yeah, uh, just in case you didn't know, uh, if that loot chute gets like way too full, there's actually this little, uh, what do you call it, like opening area, or this little space right up above the payout chute. And if it starts to bowl over, sometimes stuff will like fall inside the machine. And uh, it would go to the exact same place as those side slots on the left and the right hand side. It would go to the owner's uh, loot box, so. Yeah, we definitely need to uh, be extra careful about that loot shoot. Especially now, since we've already turned in the $50 chip, because everything that we lose, 
uh, to the gutters. Oh my goodness, will the pusher stop working again? I tell you what, let me just call them back here real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So uh, I called them back here probably about an hour ago to uh, see what was wrong with the machine. Well, it turns out there was actually a whole bunch of quarters stuck down in those like little uh, side spaces like right beside of the pusher. So uh, yeah, the quarters were stopping the pusher from moving. So uh, anyway, they luckily they got it fixed now. They took all those quarters out of there and I went ahead and turned in that red earbud. They took all the stuff that was on the blue shelves. They put it all into the playing field and they also removed that basket that was up front here. So anyhow, before we get back to pushing, I would like to go ahead and open up this uh, Mr. Bag right here. Well, if I can get it open, all right, there we go. So let's check this thing out, see if there's any nice and valuable prizes in there. So uh, keep in mind, this Mr. Bag right here should have been in the first round of this game. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. We got a whole bunch of dice now. Oh my goodness, there's another one in there. Hang on, let's get that out. Oh my goodness, let's see. All right, so we got... Uh, four five six of the white dice and two of the gold dice so the white dice will get to roll them at the end of the game uh, whatever they land on my winnings will multiply by those numbers and the gold dice that would multiply our gold by whatever they land on that is absolutely exceptional right there so anyhow let's get right back to pushing let's try to get these two other mystery bags out of there and uh, both of these great big old towers and the golden tower on the pusher so yeah wish me good luck so uh, hit that like button if you're enjoying this video today. Uh, let's try to get to 10,000 likes on this video today. If we can get to 10,000 likes tomorrow, I will do a uh, very, very large buy-in with a one-quarter challenge. How does that sound? But only if we can get to, uh, let's see, only if we can get to uh, 10,000 likes on this video today. 10,000 likes. So nice. There we go. We got the tower on the pusher to go. That is spectacular. Oh yeah, and we got that mystery bag on the left, that like brownish mystery bag. I'm pretty sure those are like brand new mystery bags actually. Those don't look like the ones that are usually in there. So yeah, those are pretty cool, ain't they? Hopefully we can get the one on the right side also. It's like stuck against the glass on those quarters. Oh yeah, it, it's going to go any second now. Guaranteed. Come on, nice push. Give me something. Nice, there we go. We got some uh, gold bars. Sweet. Nice, there we go with the mystery bag. It's sliding on down to the payout chute. It's almost there. Oh yeah, we got the mystery bag along with a whole bunch of gold. Can't beat that. It's pretty nice. So yeah, the gold bars are worth about like over two grand an ounce right now. So that's some pretty good money. We won a tremendous amount of gold today. Definitely going to make some good money off of this game. So now we just got to get this great big old tower of five and ten thousand dollar chips, and we'll be set. I will uh, open up the mystery bags and stuff. So, all right, let's see what that does right there. That was the rest of those quarters that I had in the basket. My goodness, this tower's being a tad bit stubborn at the moment. That's all right though. The challenge is always good. And plus, I mean, they're going to make it extremely difficult to win a hundred million dollars back yeah a hundred million dollar buy-in could have been a hundred million dollars in their pockets so they're going to do everything in their power to prevent you from winning your money back and especially to prevent you from making a profit so that's that's how these high limit coin brushers work so i don't suggest anybody ever play this right here Especially the high limit coin pressures because uh, I'm telling you, you could really, really lose a lot of money. And the games you're seeing that I post here on YouTube are like the best games of the day. It's just like anything on social media. It's the best part of somebody's day. It's not like, uh, how do I say this? Like it's not their everyday life. 
people are going to post like the best parts of their day stuff like that so pretty much that's what I'm doing on here I'm posting the best videos of the day so that's why it looks uh, like it's very very easy to win that but trust me it's not and I'm sure tons of people have played this uh, hundred million dollar buying game before I got here today so yeah, I can only imagine how much money they've made so far today just off of this one game let alone all the slot machines vending machines and uh, that other coin pressure they have here I guarantee they have made like millions up on millions of dollars come on big money give me something oh yeah we're about to get that five thousand dollar chip right there nice there we go we got the last ten thousand dollars out of there so we got the whole entire machine cleared out today yeah i was super super surprised because like it usually doesn't happen Especially on the losing games, but on the winning games we can usually get it all cleared out if we have enough quarters So anyhow, let's go ahead and check out those other two mister bags that we've won. All right, here's those mister bags I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with this like brown mister bag first So uh, let's check this thing out see if there's any nice and valuable stuff in there. Oh my goodness nice check this out We got a white dice so I don't know how many white dice that makes us in total now, but I know it's a bunch of them. We also got another earbud, so that's worth $100 each. Anyway, let's check out the red mister bag see if there's any nice and valuable stuff in here. Oh yeah, nice. We got a yellow earbud this time. And two more of the white dice. Holy guacamole. This is going to be a huge win today. So that's not bad, not bad at all. The mister bags were loaded up super, super well. So let's go ahead and call them back here. I think we have won 13 dice in total. We got 11 of the white dice and two of the gold dice. They'll put all 13 of them dice on the pusher. And we have to roll them on down to that lower play field. Whatever they all end on, we get to multiply our winnings in our goal by those numbers. So uh, let's go ahead and call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So this right here is where the magic happens. This is where we could potentially turn a couple million dollars into hundreds of millions of dollars. So, uh, hopefully all these dots land on some pretty good numbers. And if any of them land on ones, uh, the ones would not count at all. That goes for the gold dots and the white dots. So, oh my goodness, they're doing super, super well so far. We're getting a whole bunch of twos. So the twos ain't that bad, I guess. Much better than ones. Oh, nice, we got a six right there on that white dots. That's pretty nice. So it looks like only one of the white dice landed on a one, and we might be able to flip that over. That right there is going to be the last push, though. Because sometimes you can flip the dice over to a larger number, but I don't think it's going to work out today. But uh, anyway, the majority of those dice landed on some outstanding numbers. So I'm going to count everything up, uh, multiplier winning center goal ball, that right there, and I will let y'all know how much money I've won today. From a $100 million buy-in. We'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely remarkable. I ended up winning $14,655,000 in chips. And all those white dice combined totaled up to 31. So I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 31. And in total, I ended up winning 454 million and three hundred and five thousand dollars from a one hundred million dollar buy-in that is super super nice right there that is a fabulous win today i am shocked right now i was really not expecting to win anywhere near that amount of money today i thought we'd be lucky just to make our hundred million dollars back so this right here is an example of the best game of the day because I doubt we're going to win anywhere near this amount of money again today. So that is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, we definitely couldn't have made this much money with just two of the white dice. So thank goodness uh, I was able to get that other Mr. Bag put back into the play field. Well, the, that employee was like coming back here to talk to me about it at the time I was going to go ask the employee about it. So... I mean, either way, even if I wouldn't have mentioned it, that employee would have still put that Mr. Bag back in there. So anyhow, moving on, uh, we also won 112 ounces of gold, and, and the gold dice totaled up to four, so I'm going to get to multiply the gold by four. And in total, I ended up winning 448 ounces of gold today. I think the spot price of gold is like 2,040 an ounce, so that means we got $913,920 in gold. So that's amazing right there. 
and on top of that we ended up winning I believe it was 5,036 quarters so let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount that means we got one thousand two hundred and fifty nine dollars and quarters that is absolutely brilliant and we got four of the earbuds they give us a hundred dollars each for those and we got two of the hundred dollar buy-in chips so that's two entries into the free hundred thousand dollar buy-in giveaway so that is not bad not bad at all this has been a super super awesome game today so anyway if y'all enjoyed today's video be sure you hit that like button be sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon that way you get notified for whenever i post brand new videos i post videos seven days a week like i said so anyhow if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos that will appear at the bottom right of the screen if you want to check out my previous video yesterday's video that will appear at the bottom left of the screen and if you want to check out a coin crushers video that will appear at the top left of the screen and if you want to subscribe and visit my channel you can click that button at the top right of the screen there so with all that being said i will see everybody on the next episode y'all take care and have an awesome day